the junior men's four. The fastest qualifying time was Romania. Now looking for their fourth gold medal in a row here on the final day of competition. Of course, this afternoon session is all A finals. In lane number one is Germany, third place on the medal standings. Czechia looking for their third medal of the World Championships. They're in lane two. Great Britain looking to get back in the lead of the medal standings after Romania took the lead last race. Italy in lane four, having a great World Championships with the world's best time in the lightweight single skulls for men. People's Republic of China in lane number five. And it is the fastest qualifying time. The Romanians in lane six, again, looking for their fourth gold medal in a row here in the U19 World Again, moments before the race starts, making sure everyone is sitting in their boats correctly, not moving too much as the volunteers on the starting block hold their boats in place 2,000 meters before the finish line. Each one of those boat holders have an earpiece in and they are being communicated to to move the boats in and out to make sure they are perfectly lined up at that starting line. And there's no advantage or disadvantage for any of the boats. Again, we've only ever Germany. seen one false start this Great week, Britain. and that was yesterday. Italy. No big China. deal, they just restarted. Romania. Giving everyone time Attention. to start again. The junior men's four A final are off. Romania, 48 strokes per minute. The highest in the group so far. People's Republic of China now 48 above Romania. Extremely important to get off to that fast start. Although Romania, the past couple races, we've seen the final push at that 500 meter uh, left to go in the race, the 1500 meter mark overall. They've been extremely disciplined when it comes to their final pushes. And now looking for their fourth gold medal in a row and to stay ahead of Great Britain in the medal standings. Again, you see Germany there in lane number one. Their stroke rate has fell down to 38 strokes per minute, moving at just over five meters per second as they're just about at that first quarter pillar, that big yellow pillar, so a good visual representation of all that 500 meter marks throughout the race here in St. Catharines, Canada. And there you see just how close it all is between six boats, first and sixth, 15 meters difference. Hear how in time these athletes are as they go up and down that slide. If you're looking at Romania at the very bottom of your screen, how perfect their technique is, how large their puddles are. And then we have Italy who is bucket rigged, which again we've seen a lot of bucket rigged boats in this regatta, which is very surprising because it is not that common to see normally. At least here in in Canada. But again, it is up to the coach's discretion to think uh, where to put each rower in the boat. And if they believe that uh, their, their rowers are 
more suited to row in, in a bucket rigged boat. They will make that decision and right now paying off as Italy is currently in the lead, followed 10 meters behind Romania. 11 meters, Great Britain will round out the top three. People's Republic of China, half a boat difference between themselves and second place. We're coming up on that thousand meter mark. Probably gonna start a piece very soon. Maybe Italy is going to try and pull away from the rest of those crews. But Romania, I, I feel, has something in store for us. They're going to start trying to catch up with Italy and get out ahead. One of those nations we've seen here today that really turned it on in the last 500 meters. And that taken medals away from some boats. As you see, they're extremely close to their buoys. Have to readjust. Which does add time, it adds seconds. Every readjustment that you have to do does add time. But they did it very well and they're back on course, straight down to the finish line. 20 meters now behind the Italians who are in front by 16 meters. Again, second, third, and fourth within five meters of each other. And it was the Romanians who had to readjust, maybe losing a couple of seconds there, need to bounce back within the last 600 meters now. It might have cost them that readjustment because they are currently in fourth. Great Britain, 15 meters behind Italy. People's Republic of China, 16 meters behind. Great Britain and China are very close right now. It is gonna be a race for second and third, I feel, in that last 250 meters. Help, Kara Doggin in the third seat for Great Britain, was dealing with a back injury earlier on in this season. It is good to see him back in world-class condition, fighting for the World Championship title currently in second place, three seconds behind first. Again, a lot of these athletes, their goal in the next upcoming four years is to make that Olympic Games in Los Angeles. A lot of them here, one of their first chances at international competition in international waters. So again, to get to that Olympic Games, you must go through trial and error, depending on your boat class, the people in your boat. A lot of different factors to play in in their young rowing careers. Italy still 200 meters out from calling themselves world champions. 15 meters in front of Great Britain who hold a 10 meter lead on the People's Republic of China, Romania. Unlikely to win their fourth gold medal in a row here today. But it will be Italy in the men's four U19 division calling themselves world champions here in St. Catherine. Silver medal to Great Britain. People's Republic of China will win the bronze. Romania seconds away from that bronze medal as Czechia and Germany finish fifth and sixth. All of the sacrifice worth it now as they get to put the medals around their neck. 625-96 for Great Britain. 629-43 for the People's Republic of China. Good enough for the bronze medal. As we rewind one race, and look at the victory ceremonies 
for the junior women's four as we turn it over to the PA announcer on the grandstand. World Rowing Under-19 Championships, women's four. Mesdames et messieurs, la cérémonie des médailles pour les 